Oh, so many good things to say about you. <laughs> We're loving bragging on you today because it's all true. But there's one thing that we haven't talked about yet. What's that? Your bow ties. <laughs> so, I mean, I've worked with you now for more than three decades, yes. and it struck me when we were preparing for today that I don't even know how the whole bow tie thing started. So, you know who I went to? Who? Your better half. All right, take a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's his basket of bow ties. <laughs> every day and he decides what he's gonna wear. Ken, you have earned our respect. 42 years and those bow ties, we love them. Probably got about 500 in here. So let me take you to Ken Amaro's home. Sometimes he clashes and I'll tell him. His wife, Roz. Look at how young we are in this picture. Oh, She's telling me how the bow tie thing started. We were probably newlyweds. Way back to cousin Wanda's wedding. I thought he looked pretty handsome in his tuxedo and all that. You're looking at it, his first bow tie. And it was a clip-on. But to Ken, come on now, clip-ons, they were cheating. So always after this, Ken tied the proper tie. And the look, well, it was serious journalism. Well, I think he thought it gave him uh, credibility. Bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Bow tie. A lot of bow ties. And to his four daughters, the bow tie is symbolic. It's like Superman, he puts on that cape, every, you know, every morning that bow tie, he goes to work and he fights for the community, he tells the truth. And so I think that's his signature look. I know every time I see a bow tie, I think of him, I think of, you know, <laughs> doing right by people. And for fun here, a side note. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's that's not my favorite. Roz tells me Ken always chooses his own colors. He's been going really colorful lately. And Ken, whatever the style, we know your impact on our first coast goes way beyond fashion. Way beyond. Same I am. Best. We are grateful for you. So what should you buy? Well, it all depends on your likes and your dislikes. Our, we love the bow tie. I have a question for you. I always wonder, how fast can you tie a bow tie? If you had to estimate, seconds? Uh, it's seconds. It's, it's like, <laughs> I have a confession. I what? cheated. This is a clip on. But I love your coordination well, well, there. The colors are right, Jeannie. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kim. But it was a struggle for me trying to figure this thing out, so I admire what you're doing. But all the stuff you have done, I yes. mean, it is going to be impossible to fill your shoes, but you want us to continue on. So what's the one big change that we need to make in this community? Uh, we, the station, or we collectively, as collectively, collectively yeah. I, I think we need to listen to each other closely and be more attentive and be more compassionate and, and, and be responsive. Uh, I think too often that uh, we, we tune it out and we don't hear what people are saying. And so if you're, if you're listening, then it gets to your heart, it resonates, you move and you, you make change. And that's one thing you've taught us. A lot of people that have mentioned how great you have been have said, he listens. He listened to me. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank we you, have Kim. a lot more surprises. <laughs> We're going to hear from the apple of your eye. Okay. Sophia. But tonight at six, you got to see that. It's a beautiful oh, story. Wow. Stay tuned. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. <laughs> I know. I've already seen tears in your eyes. Heather, back over to you.